I am Anil Kumar and here is another practice question on compound angle formula. The question is determine exact value of cos 11 pi by 12. Well this question takes us back to the first chapter of unit 7 where we are working with equivalent trigonometric ratios. Now when we say cos of 11 pi by 12 it really means that and the terminal arm is somewhere here. So that will be uh, 11 pi by 12. So we can think about the pi divided into 12 equal parts. That means 12 pi over 12. So 11 pi will be right there. So we are in quadrant 2. So we expect a negative value for cos. Now writing this as an equivalent ratio we can think about alpha the related acute angle as pi by 12 right this is sorry 12 right pi by 12 so what we can do at this stage is we can write cos of 11 pi by 12 as equal to cos of pi by 12 you get the point with a negative sign negative sign because in quadrant 2 cos is negative correct you know, all are positive here, sine is positive here, tan in quadrant 3, and cos is positive in 4 or 1, not in 2, right? Therefore, cos 11 pi by 2 can be written as minus cos pi by 12. Now, we can write pi by 12 as cos of 4 pi minus 3 pi. Do you see that? Over 12. Is it okay? Which is like minus cos 4 pi divided by 12 will be pi over 3. Minus 3 divided by 12 is 4. So we get pi over 4. So that is how we can write cos 11 pi by 12. So that's a, that's a very important step to do. Once you get to this stage, at that time, you can apply the compound angle formula. Now, you know, compound angle formula for cosine is cos A cos B with plus sine A sine B. So we can now write this as, so we have minus outside. So let me keep minus and make square brackets. That's kind of important. And then we'll write cos of pi by 3 times cos of pi by 4 plus sine of pi by 3 times sine of pi by 4 correct and we can use uh, the special triangles which are for pi by 3 and pi by 4 so we get these two triangles this is for pi by 3 and let's say that is for pi by 4 the angle pi by 3 is here I mean this is pi by 6 pi by 3 is here and the sides are 1 2 square root 3 for this angle we have pi by 4. So it is better to use uh, square root 2 as a size. That will give us better result. And square root 2 will give us 2 here, right? Now we can substitute the values and simplify. So we have minus cos pi by 3 is 1 over 2 times cos of pi by 4 will be square root 2 over 2 plus sine pi by 3 will be square root 3 over 2 times sine pi by 4 which is square root 2 over 2 correct now this could be written as minus we have common denominator of 4 right in the numerator we have square root 2 plus 2 times 3 which is square root of 6 right so that becomes your answer for this particular question. So we can write down our answer clearly which is minus of square root 2 plus square root 6 over 4. Now it is kind of important to understand that we have taken this 45 degrees of pi by 4 as square root 2, square root 2 and 2, right? If you take the dimensions as 1, 1 and square root 2, then you'll get square root 2 in the denominator which needs to be rationalized later. So by taking these values, we avoid 
that step right that helps to simplify and get this answer faster i hope that helps thank you and all the best